Hello and welcome to a Label Zone unboxing video. Today we're looking at the new Brady BMP61 handheld label printer. Uh, this is the latest addition to the BMP range, BMP meaning Brady Mobile Printer. Uh, this printer features a full color touchscreen. Uh, more information about its features can actually be found on our blog, blog.labelzone.co.uk. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the box here. So you get the hard carry case and then it's just got this cardboard sleeve on it. And there's various information about it. There's a nice carry handle on the top here. More information on the reverse of it as well. But if uh, let me just take this sleeve off. Okay, so here it is with the sleeve off. Uh, I know the case is now upside down, but that's because the hinge is at the bottom, and we've got the clips at the top here. They're metal clips. This is a really really heavy duty case uh, so let's flip this over I'm gonna put it on its side so we can see it all in one shot here uh, first thing is the user manual which is a fairly hefty user manual and there's a couple CDs it's there there as well for software and drivers let's uh, scoot that out the way uh, so we've got more desk space we've got the printer here and all of its accessories we'll go through its accessories first so let's start from the top we've got mains power cable then there's the mains power adapter the USB cable this is USB A to B it's the little uh, little square one with the corners cut off uh, there's a reminder here to register your printer online there's a box here which contains the battery we'll use that in a moment uh, one thing I will say is that there are spare batteries available purchase and it actually takes the exact same battery as the BMP41 printer so if you have a BMP41 a these batteries will be interchangeable but we'll use that in a moment and lastly there's the hand strap which has a nice Brady marking on it as well uh, and I'll show you how to install that and lastly the printer I'm just gonna get this box out of the way Okay, so let's have a look at how the printer is loaded. Uh, first thing we'll start with on the side here. You can see there's three ports here. I've actually already moved this label that's covering up one of the USB ports in to run the driver wizard first before connecting the printer. We have power in from the power adapter, the square USB with this cable to the computer, and the USB host, which is connecting a memory stick to the printer, a uh, memory stick can be loaded with your label template or company logos or more symbols and you can transfer them onto the printer's internal memory from there. We'll go this way around and end up at the top again, at the front. So we have these ports here, these screw holes, these are for connecting an optional extra which is the magnet. We have the strap connectors here. I'll show you how to install that in a moment. The battery installs very easily. Make sure the terminals line up. Put this end in first and then replace the lid. On this side we have the ribbon. Ribbon cartridges come like this and they just slot in nice and easily and then lock in place. And back on the top you can pop this open you will find in your printer a sample label. This is just a factory label, just to prove that all the pixels on the print head are working. And you'll have your older labels, which is color coded. So black on the black side and gray on the gray side. This slides open and closed. So you just slide it to the width of the labels you have loaded. Pop that in there and then feed the labels where the arrows go and you're ready to print. Let me quickly show you how to install the handy strap. You will need to remove any media and ensure it is on its widest setting so you can have access to the hole behind it. So 
So you need to ensure it's like this. So you have the two here and this one. And then this feeds, undo the Velcro. Feeds through here. And now it's very difficult to actually feed it in there and then back out again. This is why I said about removing the labels. So you feed it into the printer and then back out the other slot. So it's now like this. And then there's two ways you can do this. You can either just put it straight through the loops and use the Velcro, which is plenty good enough, in my opinion. So for a more secure hold, just in case the Velcro comes loose, you can put it through in between the two loops, pull it nice and tight, and then reattach it to the Velcro, and that is a more secure hand loop. And it has, and you can clearly see it's already there. So that is everything that's in the box and how to set up the printer. Um, obviously, you put your labels back inside. Remember, this is always face up. And that's everything in the box of the BMP61 and how to load it. If you require any more information or have any further questions on this printer, please give us a call or an email. More information can be found on our website labelzone.co.uk. On our blog, you can find a comparison between BMP61 and its predecessor, the TLS2200. Web address is blog.labelzone.co.uk. And good news if you are a TLS owner and looking to upgrade, if you upgrade to this printer, you'll be able to use a lot of the same labels in this printer. And you can continue buying those labels and they'll still work. You have to buy new ribbons for this printer, but it is a fantastic replacement for the TLS 2200, which was discontinued about four years ago. Thank you for watching.